These guys are seriously badass, man. They're all black with, like, bandages and stuff. One of them has a staff. The other one has a sword. I don't know. I like these guys. What's going on, guys? Back at it again with another Remnant from the Ashes video. So, in this one, we're going to be fighting the boss called Shade and Shatter. But in order to do that, we have to go through its prerequisite dungeon called the Ardent Temple, as you can see in the top left corner. Once we get through the Ardent Temple, we essentially go into the Hall of the Faithful, which is where Shade and Shatter reside. This is a really cool and unique boss, in my opinion. It's somewhat of a... Of a Variant of some of the uh, ads that you see around in this whole ROM area, but and you'll you'll get you'll know exactly what I'm talking about once we get there. But in order to do that, we have to go through this dungeon. So let's go ahead and do that so that you guys can get a good idea of what kind of enemy variations you can find here in this dungeon. So with that being said, let's jump into it. All right. So as we're going in here. You're, you're going to see a bunch of these, like, constructs, I guess you can say. Uh, I think that's what they're called. You can actually see, hear it right here. And that's pretty much what Shade and Shatter is. They're a variation of these guys, but they're actually unique. And I think they look pretty badass, if I'm honest. Who just hit... Oh, okay. There you go. Bye, fellas. Yeah, so these these could be pretty demanding, man. Because some of the enemy variation in these places. By the way, guys, I know there's a chest here. I'm not very much... I'm pretty much not looting anymore. Because this character it has everything max. Uh, including max traits, everything, pretty much. So because of that, I don't have to loot anymore or anything. I'm just kind of just biding my time. And I don't even need... Uh, What's it called? Uh, traits or anything. So, yeah. If I can find the way through, there we go. It's very easy to get overwhelmed in here because some of the ads that, that show up here, it, they're like, they come in like hordes, man. So if you don't have like a quick trigger finger or or even like a, a S, an SMG variation, it, it can be easily you can easily get overrun so you got to be careful i like to just use swarm for those guys but it actually happens more often than not watch if i if i see like these little guys and the smaller versions of them as well they they show up a lot there goes a trait but i don't need it that's why it doesn't show up when I pick it up. But, wow, that was quick. We went through this dungeon really fast. Well, alright then, let's go ahead into the next area. Alright, so we are here in the Hall of the Judge uh, of the Faithful, excuse me. As you can see here in the top left in a second. Right there, we're in the Hall of the Faithful. And there's the fog, you can actually see it in the back. And that is where you find Shade and Shatter, which is a really cool boss. The, bo the boss fight doesn't start initially once you walk in. You have to actually go into this item thing and press it, and then the boss fight starts. These guys are seriously badass, man. They're all black with, like, bandages and stuff. One of them has a staff. The other one has a sword. I don't know. I like these guys. That's weird that, uh... Oh, I am about to say, it's only showing me one. Oh! I didn't realize he was coming. One down. Man, this is gonna be easy. Ah! Come from. 
There we go. All done. I even let these guys hit me. All right, but with that being said, let's go ahead and go back to War 13, and I'll uh, and I'll show you exactly what you get by defeating that dungeon boss. All right, guys. So if you guys ever manage to fight and defeat both Shade and Shatter, you get a crafting material called the Black Tear, which is a cr it's a crafting material used to craft a weapon mod called the Veil of the Black Tear, and if you don't know what that looks like, I'll put a the uh, what the crafting material looks like. I'll put it on the screen right now, so you can get any an idea of what it looks like. But as far as the weapon mod goes, I've had it on the screen since uh, we got to War 13, and the Veil of the Black Tear essentially what it does is that it creates a five meter impenetrable force field or energy field that heroes standing inside, uh, you know, will be protected by. Also to take note, as you can see in the description right there on the top right, it says you can shoot outwards and it lasts for 10 seconds. Now, this is a pretty good one, man. If you're if you're like uh, like a healer and you decide to like put down a force field really quick, and that gives you the ability to, you know, heal uh, an a, uh, a, 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 an ally or something. And I don't know. I think it's overall it's a pretty decent uh, weapon mod. Personally, I don't use it though. I like it, but again, I just don't use it. I don't really see a purpose for my character build. Uh, both of my characters are not related to that whatsoever. So my main character, as you can see, he's a gunslinger through and through. And then my other character, my female character, which I'm, she has everything. She has all items, uh, you know, handguns, long guns, melee weapons, all the armors, the... Uh, necklaces and rings and traits and everything the only thing i'm working on literally is just getting her max traits uh trait level and that's it this guy is you know trait level 640 so he's 100 percent max but i don't really have a need for that on either one of my characters but either way it's still a pretty good weapon mod in my opinion but with that being said that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor and drop a like on the video. Subscribe on the channel if you're not already subscribed, and I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces.